Have you ever found yourself stuck in the rut of the traditional way of sourcing images for your video clips? In this tutorial, I will teach you how you can convert your plain text into stunning visuals, enabling direct transformation of your imaginative ideas into engaging visual content. Hey, hey it's Grips, and as always, thanks for joining me. So let's go to Flex Clip and let's create a brand new video, 16 by 9. Let's get started. Now I'm going to show you a cool feature. So basically what I want to teach you today is that you cannot find the picture that you need for your storytelling. Therefore, we're going to get AI to create the, uh, the picture for you. But let's first begin with something very simple. I'm going to go to the overlays. Have a look at the overlay effects. I mean, there is hundreds of these. I mean, it's just, I keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And to me, it just, there's no end to it. And it's just lots of fun to play with this. But I'm going to do something very simple. I'm going to use a little intro. I'm going to use the big title overlay. And again, I can see there's lots available. And I'm just going to do something very simple like awesome. I'm just showing you the possibilities of this software. And I'm just going to type in the word grips. And then I may add a little background or an overlay on that. So, But first, we are here to make an AI picture for you. So let's do that. So let's go into tools. AI image generator. So let's let's think about what we're creating. So obviously when you start, you already got some vision in mind and you need say a car traveling on a dusty or lonely road. So let's type that in. Okay, so I'm, I'm making a video for YouTube. So my ratio is gonna be 16 by nine. Now the more input you put in or the more data you give, the more it can work with. Let's see what can come up with this little bit of information, create now. Okay, so we've, we've got two options. Either one is fine by me, but I'm not quite happy the style. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna look at see all and I'm gonna look at for the style that I'm after. I might go for steampunk and then let's see how it generates this picture. Same information, all I did was change the style or the artwork that I require. Okay, not quite what I'm after. So what I can do, I can regenerate this and let it let it have another go at it. And if I don't like either of them, you know what? I could always go back and change that style. No, it's not working for me. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to use a completely different style. And I might go into creative and then let that have a go at it. All right, so it's it's going towards more of what I'm after because I have the vision already in my head. So it is just me inputting into the AI to create the vision that I require. And what makes this so great about it is if you cannot now, this is exactly what I'm after. So I'm going to click on that and I can view it. And if I really want to use this picture, well, then I'll use the add to the scene and look what happens. It's going to just add it automatically to the timeline. Now, I don't want to save it, but you can in case you want to use it for future projects. All right, so there you go. Oh, look at that. It actually, <laughs> I made the mistake by not putting the scrubber here. So what it did, it, so let's, let's undo that and put the timeline here. We can add another one here and then do the exact same thing. Bingo. So I've now created the artwork that in my imagination is what I wanted. I probably couldn't find this picture on the internet and that's what's so great about using these AI image generators. And then we can go back and then have a look at maybe a text effect or an effect over this clip, something that's befitting with it. So let's go up here, see all, and then let's have a look at something. Now this effect I played with early and I quite like it. So let's have a look at that effect. And then that's, we can hit the scene button. All right, which means all we're doing is not applying it yet. Oh no, we did apply because I clicked on it. Sorry about that. That's okay. And we can do it again. If you don't want it, you can just highlight and delete it. Now I'm quite happy with that. Look at that, grips. And I might be telling on a travel adventure I went on say in last summer. And then I can add a little smooth transition. So basic shapes, creative. A liquid, that's the one I used in my intro, and I might just use a multiple blend. And I think that's a really cool little effect. A sneak or a quick preview. There you go. And that's coming up nicely. And if you watch my previous video, I showed you how you can build up on that by using uh, voiceover and other elements within FlexClip. So there you go, my friends. A quick tutorial 
just to show you the power of AI. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>